Hi guys, in today's tutorial we are going to show you how to bypass the Windows 7 password which will come in handy if you ever forget your password um, and are unable to log in. So here we can see the login screen and let's go ahead and assume that we forgot our password and it's not letting us log in. The first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and restart the computer. And it will go ahead and shut down and as it powers back up and we see the starting windows screen we are going to press the power button on our computer um, to make the computer force it to shut down so when you see starting windows go ahead and press the power button to force your computer to turn off once you've forced your computer to turn off go ahead and press the power button again to turn on the computer and it will bring up a screen here um, that will give you a couple options whether to launch startup repair or start windows normally we're going to go ahead and launch startup repair alright so now startup repair has initialized and it's asking us if we want to restore our computer we're going to go ahead and click cancel and the system will attempt repairs. This process can take a few minutes. Um, sometimes it can take up to 10 to 15 minutes. So we'll go ahead and fast forward through a lot of this until it brings us to the next screen. And after probably 10 or 15 minutes, you should see a screen here pop up um, that says that the computer cannot be repaired automatically. Once you see this screen, we're going to go ahead and click View Problem Details, scroll down to the bottom, and click this bottom link here, which will open a notepad document. We're going to go ahead and go to File, Open, Computer, Local Disk, Windows, and then at this point, we're going to go ahead and come down to where it says Files of Type, go to all files and we're going to search for system 32 go ahead and open that and then we are looking for a file that is called Seth C or set HC S E T H C and all the files here are in alphabetical order so that should make it a little easier to find so go ahead and scroll down we're going to find the file, right click, and select rename. And we're going to go ahead and just call this the same name, but add a zero to the end. And then go ahead and click away to save. And then go ahead and search for CMD. And then we're going to go ahead and right click CMD, select copy, and then scroll down to the very end and select paste. And then we're going to see it and we're going to go ahead, right click, rename this file, and we're going to rename it SETHC. Go ahead and click away to save, and then click cancel close the window go ahead click don't send and click finish so now we're gonna go ahead and restart the computer and we should end up back at the login screen and once we're at this screen we're gonna go ahead and push the shift key five times very quickly one two three four five go ahead and click no and you'll see that it opens up the command prompt here so we're gonna go ahead and in this box type net user two words and this will give us a list of user accounts here on the computer you can see there's an administrator a guest and Steve so we're gonna go ahead and type in net user Steve 
or you're going to type whatever account you want to log into and then you're going to go ahead and put a space and then put a star and hit enter and it will ask you to type a password for the user you can go ahead and enter a new password or to leave it blank with no password go ahead and hit enter then it will have you confirm whatever password you put in go ahead and hit enter again and it will say that um, the command has been completed successfully so you can go ahead and close that and then we'll go ahead and log into the computer and the system should pull up and it's as simple as that if you have any questions please feel free to post it in the comments section um, and thanks so much for watching guys and have a great day